Hi and welcome to the Cano walkthrough tutorial. My name is Taylor and I will be delivering a series of videos to get you acquainted with the Cano computer and apps. Today we are going to talk about the dashboard in classic mode. When you first turn on your Cano, you will be directed to the dashboard. This is like a shortcut page to see the apps used the most. Um, as a quick side note, I will talk about how some things are available online or locally. If I say locally, it means that the app is available for offline use on the Cano. If I say online, it means it is available online only. So now, let's knowing that, let's look at the center. Um, here you have apps to help you create and explore. So the first one, Cano Code, is one of our online apps that lets you use code blocks similar to Scratch to code interactive projects on your computer in Cano. MakeArt is an online app and one also locally on the Cano. Um, you can use CopyScript, a stripped down version of JavaScript, to code creative art pieces. Make Minecraft is similar to Cano code in that it uses coding blocks. And here you hack Minecraft by coding crazy and impossible structures you can't create in normal Minecraft. It is also local to the Cano computer. And then Make Like is a local app on the Cano that lets you use Python code to create light sequences. And we also have shortcuts to let you browse YouTube and get on the internet if you want. Um, and then this one here will let you open up your terminal window. If you are looking to hack the operating system more and code with commands, um, this advanced feature is more for you. Uh, you also have the profile. You can use this to look at your profile to see how many badges you have. And Cano Apps will open up a window to display all your current apps installed on the operating system. So on the left hand side here, you see story mode. I'm going to go into more detail in a later video, but for now I'm going to just give you a quick introduction. Um, this is a game your learners can play to learn more about the Cano computer. Uh, they are their profile character and they explore the different components of the Cano computer. And just on the right over here is staff picks. This will be updated if you're connected to the internet to see picks that are shared via Cano World that you can click on and you can actually start coding. So we want to check out classic mode, so let's go down here and click classic mode. And you'll be redirected to a more traditional desktop-like screen um, that you might see in Windows. So you first see shortcuts to some of your apps. Um, if you want, you can click the plus sign and you can add more to be displayed on the home screen. You may also notice that there are some extra apps here. Um, I'm going to talk about a few of them pretty quickly. Um, you have Scratch, which is a coding block sequence where you can use coding blocks to program a little character and to make different types of games. Um, you also will notice these, Make Snake, Make Pong, and Terminal Quest. Um, Make Snake is a local app that you can play with by using Python to hack the game. Make Pong is also a local app, and this one is similar to Make Minecraft and using code blocks for hacking. And then Terminal Quest is also a local app. Here you read a story following the white rabbit from when you first turned on your computer to learn terminal commands. Now click on the K and you'll see all of your Cano apps labeled in certain, fo like certain folder areas. So you have games, media, code, tools, others. Um, as a note, games right here, if your learners want to just play Pong or Snake or Minecraft, they would go in here and it would load the game automatically, not going into the hacking mode. Um, also at the top, you'll see where there's a little space up here where you can provide feedback to Cano on how your experience is going. Um, and if you're using Cano for like a local computer to save files, you can save them here locally in the file section. So that's the Cano dashboard in classic mode. Um, you can email us at education at cano.me if you have any more questions, but join us next time for another tutorial to get to know your Cano computer more. Thanks.